Okay, so we know that there are some pretty crazy ways that you can make a living nowadays, but when I share how this individual is making money and how he was able to quit his job for what he does, I mean, you're gonna be blown away because this is something that my kids love to do. So we're gonna find out what his story is and how he was able to make his first $1,000. Let's find out who this man is right now. Now, one of the things that my kids love to do is that they love to draw. They love to draw, they love to color, they love to sketch. It's just one of the things that they love to do. So when I met this individual, and this individual's name is Evan Burst, otherwise known as the Cartoon Block. So when I met Evan and I learned his story and that he loved to draw and that passion led to him getting a job at Marvel, drawing some of the most amazing superheroes that you and I know, but then not just getting his dream job, but then to leave his dream job and then focus on teaching others how to draw and get paid a lot of money to do it. So I knew Evan would be a great addition to this new Make 1K series because I want to share his story, how he made his first $1,000 and when that ultimately led to him earning passive income for literally doing something that he loves to do and my kids like to do it too. So let's find out what Evan has to say about his journey. Hey Jeff, thanks for having me on the show. I first wanna say um, I love all the tips and advice that you give your audience. Just wanna say keep it up, bro. You're doing some excellent work and everybody out there, listen to Jeff. He knows what he's talking about. Okay, trust me. <laughs> um, what's my story? It kind of started back when my son wanted me to, he was constantly asking me how to draw certain characters like, Dad, can you show me how to draw Spider-Man, Dragon Ball Z, everything, yada, yada, yada. And I got to thinking, I wonder how many other people out there want to learn to draw the same types of characters and stuff like that. And at that time, I worked in the animation business, and uh, I was like, hey, let me go ahead and just do a couple of drawing tutorials and put them online. And when I put my first one up, I think it was how to draw Billy, no, was it? No, how to draw Timmy Turner from Fairly Odd Parents. That was my first video, and that was in 2009. So 2009 was when I started my YouTube channel, and then from my YouTube channel, I grew my audience, grew, grew, and grew, until I transitioned that into now a monthly membership where I coach my students and give them exclusive access to special tutorials that are just for them that are focusing on you know the character design the body and how to draw superheroes so that's so YouTube channel starting in 2009 and then that transitioned into a full thriving monthly membership. And that's where it is today. When I started my YouTube channel and my first video, like I said, it was how to draw Timmy Turner. At that time, I think that was July 2009, um, YouTube would send you an email. If your video was doing, was performing well, they would send you an email asking if they could monetize your video by putting ads in front of it. So the way you made money was through ad revenue. That's how you make money on YouTube is ad revenue and all the commercials uh, that air before, during, and sometimes after your videos. So that was how you make money on YouTube at that time. And But I never really considered it being a full-time or any kind of online business a full-time career. So I was simply responding to their emails. When my first video, Timmy Turner, uh, they approached me about that one. Can we put ads in front of that video? I said, of course, yes. <laughs> when I was checking my online AdSense and ad revenue online, and it was it must've been around 11 or 12 o'clock at night, and I saw that six cents in my ad, like AdSense account, and I was like, you mean to tell me like this video has been up here like two weeks 
and it's made six cents, like, I couldn't believe it. Six cents, like, I was like, I, it did something to my mind, like, ugh, like, you can make, you know, coins, you can make money, dollars and cents on this thing called the internet. Like, that was like the proof for me right there. So, I remember I ran upstairs when I saw that six cents, I ran upstairs and grabbed my wife out of bed and I was pulling her downstairs. I probably almost like yanked her arm off. I was pulling her so hard. I was like, hey, honey, you gotta come see this. You gotta come see this six cents. Like we made six cents. This is, ah. But that right there was the shift in my mindset that you could make money online. <laughs> Biggest challenge for me was just putting myself out there it and and having i had that fear of rejection what if i'm not good enough what if people think my drawings suck what if i'm just i'm just this a doo-doo artist you know so that was the biggest challenge right there all these things aren't true no one's going to come to your house knock on your door and say you suck, you know, but we all have those little small fears within us. And that obviously that was the biggest obstacle. And the way I got over it was I simply had, this is back in 2009, I had a digital camera and just held it up and was just like, hey guys, this is Evan. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to draw Timmy Turner and da 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 da. I was so nervous. Oh, I was so nervous. But as I put myself out there more and more and more, I became more and more comfortable in front of the camera. So I want to say it took me about three months to earn my first $100 on YouTube. And then from there, um, I was making money online, you know, on YouTube, average about uh, maybe like 150 to 200 a month. And that was growing. So I would say after the first like, you know, eight to nine months, I made my first $1,000 right there on YouTube. Next thing online that I that really blew my mind was making like $10,000 uh, learning from my friend and mentor, our friend, you know, Shane Sams, he and his wife, uh, Jocelyn and you know, them helping me to establish my first digital product and I made $10,000 the first day. And I liked, I cried because I could not believe that someone would give me that amount of money in that time span. $10,000 in one day blew my mind. YouTube was my first uh, income, her first passive income that I was making. It was online, you know. Um, the videos were going and they were, you know, being played and watched around the world while I was sleeping, you know, or while I'm at my day job in the animation business. You know, it was I just made a video and it was kind of like looping on repeat. So... I would tell anybody, if you want to just start, do a hobby or something or your own desires and whatever your interest is, start, put it online. It's perhaps the fastest and easiest way to start out making money online. But for me, having that AdSense revenue uh, come from my YouTube videos, that was my first passive income. If I could go back in time and talk to my younger self, I would tell my younger self to get a mentor. Find someone who is doing what you want to do and just link up with them. Get connected. I didn't even have an email list. I didn't have a website. You know, um, I thought I was going to be YouTube famous and YouTube rich, baby, but it never happened. You know, I made money on YouTube, but I didn't get that substantial income 
coming in until I learned things that I didn't know. You know, I didn't know that I needed to have like make create products until he taught me that. And so now I know how to put all those things together and to make a solid business. So I would tell my younger self to get a mentor, find someone who is doing the things that you want to do, link up with them and learn all the secrets. Just start. That's the biggest thing. Just simply start. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know I've had some of my uh, subscribers and followers ask me, Evan, well, how did you, you know, get the what camera do you use? What microphone you use? What light you use? None of that stuff matters. What matters is the content that you are sharing. And the only way people can get the content or you can get your knowledge out of your brain to, to broadcast it out to the public is to simply start. Over time, you slowly tweak and modify and you develop new skills. But in the meantime, just grab your iPhone here, okay? That's the coolest thing that you can do. We're walking around with all this cool technology. Use it, grab it, press the video record button, take a selfie video and go from there. Just simply start. It does not, we're, we're looking for just, you know, progress, not perfection. So just simply start and over time you will improve, but start sharing your knowledge and your gift with the world. So yes, you can make money doing your passion. Evan Story, the man loves to draw cartoons and he makes a killing doing it. So if you have something that you do not think that you can make money, make a living doing it, then you got to get your mind right because guess what? It can be a possibility. So do not discount your ideas, your passions, whatever that you want to do. Big shout out to Evan for sharing his story here. Please check out his channel. If you want to see some amazing drawings and sketches, this man is talented. You will not regret it. Evan, big shout out, man. Thanks for sharing your story with the Wealth Hacker community. Hope you enjoyed this 1K series, make it 1K, and guess what? I got more coming. So you better subscribe because we got more people that have some amazing stories to share. All right, y'all. Appreciate you. Until next time, peace.